EU involves using radio and electromagnetic signals to protect or disrupt communications and equipment. It has three types, Electronic Attack EA, Electronic Protection EP, and Electronic Support ES. The EA targets enemy radars, communications radios, and navigation systems using radio waves for jamming purposes, neutralizing their effectiveness. The EP is dedicated to shielding against such jamming attempts, ensuring communications and systems remain functional despite enemy interference. The ES deals with detecting and locating electromagnetic emissions. Russia integrates EU closely with all branches of its military. EU capabilities are embedded across Russia's land, sea, and air forces at the strategic, operational, and tactical levels. Russian Electronic Warfare EU capabilities to neutralize threats across different domains. The Krajuka Electronic Warfare Complex, including the Krajuka S4 and Krajuka 2, targets low Earth orbit spy satellites, airborne radars, unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, and enemy radar stations with the intent of disrupting navigation and communications. The Murmansk BN specializes in jamming shortwave radio communications, boasting a remarkable operational range that could disable NATO aerospace and radar complexes. The Saphir complex represents the latest advancement in EU, designed to counter unmanned vehicles through automatic classification and suppression, while the Orlan 10 UAV performs dual roles in reconnaissance and EU. Russia's anti-drone technologies, including electromagnetic guns like the Harpoon-3 and Silok systems, focus on severing control links to protect against UAV attacks. In the Black Sea, EU has been used to jam precision-guided munitions that depend on satellite navigation signals. Russia's most sophisticated electronic warfare EU system, the Krajuka-4. First fielded in 2014, the Krajuka-4 is a centerpiece of Russia's strategic EU complement. Designed primarily to jam airborne or satellite-based fire control radars in the X and Ku bands, the Krajuka-4 encounters airborne radar aircraft such as the Joint Surveillance Target Attack Radar System J-Star Northrop Grumman E-8. The Krajuka-2 is a S-band system designed to jam airborne early warning and control a wax aircraft such as the Boeing E-3 Sentry at ranges of up to 250 km. The Krajuka-2 can also jam other airborne radars, such as those for radar-guided missiles. <laughs>